sergeant's got it in for us to. Where's your commanding officer branded? Don't you know the training grounds are for real soldiers? Hey, are you lost or something? Sorry, but the Imperial Guard's got no use for your kind. The infantry always needs more bodies, that. I'm just passing through. <laughs> Don't bloody believe it. The bastard's wearing the moon and stars. Didn't we scream at them Don't earlier? He's strutting about like he owns the place. They laughed when we offered her our protection. You reckon this prick's really worth a couple of the Emperor's finest? Oh boy. <laughs> I dare say there's ways of finding out. How about it, Brandon? Care to show us how you earned that brooch? I'd rather not. Oh, no doubt. Only chivalrous souls that we are. Robin and I need to know the dame's being properly looked after. All right. Well, we kick their asses. Fine. If it'll put your mind at ease. Oh, and just so you know, I won't be holding back. I suggest you don't either. Take a moment to get ready if you need it. Wouldn't want you whining about an unfair fight. Huh. <laughs> Now, let's get the measure of you, shall we? Yep. If that's what you want. <laughs> Cocky bastard. All right, let's be having you. First ship, Phoenix Rising. Oh, and when you go crying to your mistress. Tell her it was Leon who gave you the pounding. Use all the dirty tricks you want, Brandon. All right. So you know one end of a place from the other. <sighs> Fuck me. Yeah. What the hell are you playing at, Leon? So it's a real challenge he wants, is it? <laughs> Fine. Sword up, bearer. Let's have some fun, shall we? Gladly. Had a bearer with the dame's favorite. Anyway. Well, I know he wants to hold my tongue for a start. Uh, it's over. <laughs> Don't open your mouth. That's all I can say. Can I go now? Gregor's gash. The bastard didn't even break a sweat. The dame's man or no, he's still a branded. Best hope the sergeant never hears about this. Yeah, not after the bulletin he gave us for missing drills. Might be the old side had a point. I'll leave you to it. Yeah, good bloody riddance. <sighs> At least we know the dames and safe hands, I suppose. Do us a favor. If you have to tell the dame about this, tell her we got a good few hits in, eh? Hmm? You guys didn't get any hits, huh? The Emperor's finest thrashed by a brand. I don't know how a bearer came by the moon and stars. Thank goodness I found you. Can I trust you to be discreet? About what? About this. About what I wish to ask of you. About the fact that I, a humble creature, assist the Dame of the Vale in her endeavors. As unlikely as it may seem, 
There are those within the upper echelons of Sambraqua society who find the Empire's treatment of bearers to be barbaric. All right. But what do you want from me? This town is carried upon the backs of its bearers. And yet many would see their servants starve. Not for the want of coin. Simple fare costs little more than a pittance. But to revel in the suffering of others. A simple act of cruelty. Contemptible though it is, my countrymen would sooner cut off their noses to spite their faces than see their bearers fed. And despite my best attempts at secrecy, my efforts to dole out comestibles have been noticed. Which brings me to my request. The brand upon your cheek affords you a certain freedom. A freedom I could sorely use. Fine. What do you need me to do? Oh, thank you. An extra meal may not seem like much, but it will make all the difference. Here, deliver these, but keep them hidden. Quickly now. What food I can provide goes where the need is greatest. And today, that happens to be the barracks. Three bearers, overworked and underfed, not permitted a moment's rest. It's no wonder so many die before their time. Tragic. True, but do not let anger make you careless. People will view this act of mercy as an undermining of the Empire's authority. Be discreet for both our sakes. And for the sake of those we feed. Oh, and when you're finished, a word in the ear of one of the dame's girls would be appreciated. You won't be staying, then. I'm afraid not. I am expected back in the capital, and have already risked much speaking with you this long. I'm a server, a delivery person, all kinds of things. Crystal's curse is bad enough. We can't let people starve as well. Oh, this quest is all over the place. All right, no. I have something for you. From the Chamberlain. Thank you. You need to leave. Now. Please. Randy! Who told you to arrest? Stow those damn flames! And you, if you've got a message for me, out with it. If not, return to your post. I just want to fight all these people. Waiting for it to heal on its own. Hurry up! Looks like now's not the time. You look like you need a rest. as much as I need this. Thank you. I don't eat it here, though. Not where anyone might see. Has it always been this bad? Oh, it was worse before the Chamberlain. I'd be dead without him. Me and many others. That's something at least. You get away from me! Jack, you'll work faster next time if you know what's good for you. Here, 
It looks like you need it. The Chamberlain must have sent you, but alas, my work is far from over. If I don't go now, they'll beat me. You need to rest. But I won't. I have wounds to heal and bones to mend. And what of your own hurts? They'll wait. As will my hunger. Thank you, though. A drover has more regard for his cattle than the Empire does its bearers. Anyway, I'd better head to the Vale. It's not been half a moon since Bella. For business or pleasure? Business, though not my own. The Chamberlain put me to work delivering food. Ah, so he found someone to help him then. Just as well. I hear his friends back at court have been taking a little too much interest in him of late. So he really is a Chamberlain? There was a time when he was the Vow's most illustrious customer. Us girls thought of him as a generous uncle. He was one of the only people around here who seemed bothered by the way the Empire treats its bearers. Rare for one in his position. A fact not wasted on the dame. A little nudge from her is all it took, and he became the patron saint of Northreach's starving masses. My sisters and I may have lost an uncle, but bearers are being fed for a change, so we don't grumble. <laughs> Much. Glad to hear it. Gives you faith, though, doesn't it? To know there are people out there like him. And you, for that matter. So I wonder the dame's got a soft spot for you. <laughs> I better be going. Nothing here for your kind, Branded. Go on now. Shoot. I have a delivery from Etienne. Fresh from the master's table. Why didn't you say so? Because you're assuming <laughs> stuff. Times are hard. But this here will make them less so. For a while, at least. Sorry about the welcome. Meant nothing by it. You wait right here. Here. Yeah. You can tell Etienne I'm a man of my word. Perfume. Oroflam's finest. Just as promised. Yeah, I'm definitely an errand boy. I have no business with Brand. Well, I have business with you. A package. Fresh from the master's table. I do not know. Where is the merchant, Etienne? Somewhere the gate guards won't be paying him or his affairs any mind. Fine. Hand over the goods and be gone. This is lighter than usual. Branded, if I discover you have played me false, I can always take it back. You will do no such thing. Your master should cut out your insolent tongue. Had you been the tool of any other man, I would see you clapped in chains. Payment. Take it and get out of my sight. 
Everyone's a dick. Cigars. Those cigars are worth more than your life. Do be careful. Are you gonna buy something or not? You there! Fancy a drop of the Empire's fighting? Well, how about a plum? For the apple of your heart. I warn you now, I don't sell to your kind. Whether you have the coin or not. Where's your master anyway? Etienne sent me. Didn't know he had his own bearer. Business must be booming. All right, quickly now, before the guards notice. <sighs> that is no burden off my back. And this is for Etienne. All this for a drink? Not just any drink. The very best. Specially distilled from our most discerning customers. The guards find that, they'll seize it before you can blink. You keep it well hidden. All right. Etienne likes it. Tell him there's more where that came from. For a price. Of course. Of course. Perfume, cigars, and spirits. Someone has expensive tastes. Question is, how can they afford to maintain them? I suppose there's only one way to find out. That's the day done then. This guy's just hiding in the back alley. The market's all You have returned. I believe these are yours. Delightful. The dame will be pleased. You don't say. And would she be pleased to learn what you had to exchange for those items? You mean the crystals? No need to be coy, my boy. Why not just tell me in the first place? An honest man wears deception like shackles about his ankles. I couldn't risk you stumbling under the gaze of the guards. After all, we both know the punishment for dealing in unsanctioned crystals, even such morsels as I provide. And if you don't know what this day's work may have cost you, then, well, I dare say you'll sleep all the better for it. Despite the risk, our friends beyond the war gladly give their finest and most treasured wares for the paltry crumbs I trade in. I didn't realize crystals were so scarce here. As scarce as chocobo teeth, hence the thriving market for even the scantest fragments. <sighs> Do you think it vulgar that I profit from the hardship of others? I think you're doing what you believe is necessary. Yeah, indeed. And I don't doubt the dame would agree. A reward for a job well done. I have the goods I was commissioned to gather, and the guards are none the wiser. Deal. I thank you. As will our mutual friend when she hears of how you have aided me. I'm sure you can return eventually. Or, you know, I screwed up. The city guard doesn't take sentry assignment as seriously as you do. This bodes well. <laughs> Won't be a first. This may not be such a terrible plan after all. And what exactly is that supposed to mean? Only that your last secret shortcut was nowhere near as secret as you claimed. 
Oh, well, that's half the fun of it. Life's too short for a perfect plan. You want a plan that'll keep you on your toes, stop you growing old and complacent. Worked for you, has it? Clive, my boy. Even life's smallest challenges offer the opportunity to grow and to change. You must embrace these moments. Allow them to suffuse your heart with a deep sense of fulfillment. Narrowly escaping death at the hands of an enemy is not my idea of fulfillment. Hmm. Sounds like a bad idea. Something wrong? Not at all. Just wondering if the two of you had finished. Right. We make for the Mother Crystal's heart as planned. Destroy it and the whole thing should come tumbling down. That's not a bad idea. If the passage oh. should be in the sanctum is guarded. Then we embrace the moment and use it to grow and change. Come on, this way. I'm trying to stay out of sight. Obviously. The passage is empty. Better be empty. 